Okay. Uh, Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Oh. At the same time. Wow. That's, Jesus. Can't cut it. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. No. <laughs> Rex. And Daniel. <laughs> so we got given a rumble, which oh. is not a whiskey. No, it's not. But it's so close. I wanted to review it. And so. Hold on. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. What? I think the only reason that you're willing to entertain this mm. is because it's Balconis. And you get to say the word Balconis. No, I wasn't. And kidding. the official drinking game. It's pretty close, Balconis. Basically yeah, yeah. demands that everybody that hears <laughs> Daniel say the word Balconis, yeah, you gotta true. drink. I'm sorry. We've we've killed countless magnificent bastards by them. Here's what I would say. Drinking killed themselves them. into a coma. From because Balconis. every time you say the word Balconis. <laughs> Here's drink. my one caveat. I would do the same thing for Andalusia's brandy. I had no idea. Wait, Iron Roots brandy. They make brandy? They just released another brandy. Oh my god. Exactly. Oh. Kind of want to try that, right? Okay. But okay. I'm putting it on the same episode oh. as a Balcona single malt. Okay, so it's an addendum. Because we've done that a lot. It's an addendum. Yeah, it's an addendum. So we've we done whiskey. this one a lot, but got this one is from uh, Magnificent Bastard, Nate Russell. Nate Russell, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> And the rumble is from Magnificent Bastards, Neil and Lisa Swindle. Neil and Lisa Swindle, you magnificent bastards. Let's start with the single malt. This is yeah. uh, different from others in that it is... I was is, just about to ask, how have you not done that? It's an infinity beverage pick. Oh. Hand-selected, like one, barrel. one barrel. Okay, nice. And this is all European new... Oak. Oh. And it is almost four years old. European. European oak. New oak. It typically means French oak, but yeah. I don't know about this one. No, I like, I like uh, French oak. Back it, uh, it was a few years ago, they released uh, the Froak. Yeah. I loved that. Yeah. Their French oak release was great. Now, but I, in my experience, they usually say French oak when it is. And so the fact that they called this European oak is interesting to me. 65.1% alcohol. It new, but just remember, new oak its whole life, almost four years old. Yeah. Look at how dark that is. That is so Jesus. dark. It's like black coffee <laughs> with just oil. Like that tinge of red. Just motor oil. <laughs> Doesn't smell like it. Oh, uh -huh. man. There's like a cherry fruit roll up. Oh, yeah. This is candied fruit explosion. It's like a gummy, dense sweetness. You can almost chew it. Just. I was going to say gummies. Like... Uh, gummy bears, yeah. like actual gummies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the uh, there was one time yeah. in my life that I found a bag of gummy worms that oh, was wild cherry. That's a beautiful nose. Go ahead. The whole bag. Wild cherry. Solid wild cherry. Oh, just gummy good, worms. Just oh, how you don't even have and to take them out. They're all dark red. No, just take them out. And they're worms too. They're extra. Yeah. You know, not just little bits. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm. That's that's exactly. Now, this is so. Go ahead. After that, yeah. What else? Uh, the, the thing that's really cool about this, the, 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 a lot of people that get into scotch and they kind of find this funky malty note that they don't mm -hmm. dig. I think they would not find it in this Texas single malt. It's so buried. It's so fruity and buried. That malt funkiness. If you want to get into a malt that doesn't carry that note, that has maybe turned you off of the scotch single malts. Gosh, this is beautiful. I'm on the nose. I'm still on the nose. A dark chocolate cordial, yeah. like a chocolate can't hard chocolate can't. So mm -hmm. when I was, I st this is how hardcore this is. I still remember it. Yeah. I was Cash's age. I was probably ten, okay. eleven years old. I was at a friend's house, I spending at, at night at his house for the first time ever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just knew this kid from school. He's like, "You want to spend the night?" I was like, "Sure." Yeah. So I get dropped off at some strange home, you know, yeah. out in the woods, yeah. he's out in the boondocks, and this kid's like, "Hey, you like chocolates?" I was like, yeah, and he's like, try this. And I had no guile. Mm -hmm. I just was like, oh, cool. I bit into it, and he had given me a, a liquor chocolate. <laughs> that was like a, a chocolate oh. with a cherry in it. Right. But then it had some kind of like whiskey or something like that. And the chocolate, I'm 11. Right. I just throw the whole thing in my mouth. I end up like coughing and choking. But my memory is... That after the alcohol burn, I still had this residual liquor cherry chocolate. Yeah. And I can still recall that flavor to this day. Because huh. it was such a, it felt like such a betrayal. Because you were abused It burned in the itself in my brain. Abused in the woods. It was like, how dare you? And I, was, smells, I felt embarrassed. Smells and, like betrayal. Because I coughed and he was laughing. Never went back to his house. 
<laughs> but I get that same combo of this like chocolate cherry liquor liquor candy. I'm really not getting a lot of woodiness. I know. As I was looking for it. As dark as this yeah. is, I'm thinking, okay, how heavy is I'm gonna am I gonna get smashed in the mouth with Let's find a piece out. of wood? It's still soft. Oh, it tracks with the nose. Yeah. Oh. That's really cohesive nose to palate. Oh my god. That's one of the better single barrels wow. that I've had from these guys. That's a six how is that 65.1%? Or from the that's ridiculous. No, this is one of the better single barrel picks that mm. we've tried. No, that's that's what I meant to say. It's great. It's great. Well done. It, it Infinity drinks. Infinity beverage. The, the 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 density, the concentration, the potency of those flavors, I believe 65 point whatever percent. The burn? No. Do it's you think so much more relaxed. That's the shape of the state? It has to be. It's too weird of a shape. What is that shape? Uh, what state did they I don't know. I gotta look up Infinity Beverage. Is that is that like a Michigan or? No, it's not Michigan. Michigan looks like a mitten. Uh, where are they out of? We don't know. Yeah, I guess it didn't say. Georgia? No. No, maybe. It's not Georgia. I don't know. I don't know. There's Infinity some... Beverage. Is it like to... Barrel pick. Here's an Infinity <laughs> Beverage that announces their barrel picks. I don't know. If you um, see could that. it be Wisconsin? The state. It could be about forty states that I don't really know. Shape I, of Wisconsin. <laughs> shape, shape of Wisconsin. <laughs> You're trying to be more boring than the two first. Yeah, yeah. Names. Hey, hey, hey. No, that's not it. No. Uh, I'm gonna say. Is that a Minnesota? shape of Iowa or Minnesota? Is it Minnesota? It's not Minnesota. Is it Minnesota? No. No. Nope. <laughs> you know what? We're not leaving. We're not leaving until we figure out this state. You shape of Louisiana. No. That has an L. What are you it doing? It does have an L. That is okay. Let's do. Uh, it's closer though. You know what? Just pull up a map. shapes of states. Just pull up a map. Of That's the where US. I was headed Just pull next. Pull up a map of the U.S. We yeah. Got this. Here we go. Here Stop. we go. Oh, it's an Amazon. How are link. you on Amazon? I don't know. Oh, because I clicked on the next Click obvious. Ooh, here's one that's all split up. Oh, yeah. This is very important. So I'm look for, looking for the pointy corner, okay. top left. I'm right. looking in the bottom right little tail. <gasps> Whisk, oh, wait. Is, is that it? Missouri. Missouri. It's Missouri. It's Missouri. Is it? Uh, it's is, closer. Is it have, did it have smooth? No, it's not Missouri. Because it has smooth here and then it well, gets Well, we don't know that it's that accurate. Well, no, it has to. So let's look for others. Why it you, has to why be. Why would you bother I don't the state know. and then c*** up the state? I feel like Missouri would... Oh, is no, no, it, look, Georgia. Is it? It's Georgia. It's Georgia. Georgia. It was Georgia. I said it originally. You know what I call that? Guest. You know what I call that? Georgian? Premium content. <laughs> you guys are on the edge of your seats. <laughs> what state is it going to be? I can't click away. <gasps> No matter, no matter what state it was, it was going to be anticlimactic. Yeah. yeah no matter what. Uh, right. <laughs> what would be really funny is if it was Texas <laughs> or, or like something like really obvious. Yeah, like Hawaii or something. California. Yeah. <laughs> like, what state could this possibly be? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan uh, Gianap, Gianap. So when I cellar beers, there are some flavors that will age out of the beer. Does this happen with whiskey? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. here's why I want to talk about this because the Balconist guys and I were talking about this, yeah. which is... They have talked about, they know what kind of whiskey to make on the new make and the fermentation sides mm -hmm. in order to achieve in the four-year window with mm -hmm. normal size barrels what they're looking for. Hmm. But now they're starting to experiment with bigger barrels. Yeah. And they don't yet have a handle on how they might want to alter right. the so you're saying, first steps of the process. You're saying four-year window because of Texas heat? Mm -hmm. Okay. But now that they're using bigger barrels, they can leave it in there longer. Yeah, yeah. And so they're thinking... We can't just make the same whiskey and expect that same whiskey to also be good eight years. Right. We don't know. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. might be that the stuff we put into big, bigger barrels we need to make differently yeah. in order to get to the... So what happens is as you age barrels, you get, say, a grid. And it's like mm -hmm. a dozen things. And they all start over here. And some start high and go low over time. And some start low and go high over time, like barrel tannins. Yeah. Uh, new make maltiness sort of drops over time. And there's all these interlocking things. And it changes based on climate and barrel size and newer used oak and fermentation and cuts. And so when we talk at the distillery about how we have to make narrow cuts because we don't have time, mm -hmm. Scotland can sometimes make wider cuts and get more tails yeah. because they get 12 to 20 years for that to age out. Whereas in Texas, you only get you get a shorter window before the barrel takes over. Yeah. And so if you cut too low, you don't have time to age it out. Right. And so that's the same thing with... Um, with the 
cellar with beer. It's it's just it's an interesting thing yeah. that you're really playing with like tenon variables at mm -hmm. any given moment mm -hmm. based on time. Oh, we didn't get to try to rumble yet. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. With this okay. one, what do you think? The, so I'm gonna tell you this right now. At this point in me experiencing whiskey, mm -hmm. after like damn near two thousand bottles, it's kind of rare for me to keep wanting to go back because I think there's something more that I don't quite have a grasp on. Mm -hmm. Usually, I get three or four sips in. It's like oh, okay, I, I got get a handle it. on it. Yeah, and sometimes it's like eh, I've had better. Sometimes it's like wow, that's really nice. But this, I keep going back to it because it's beautiful. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. But I keep finding like there's got to be another layer. There's something. Even though I can recognize a lot of stuff, there's a unique thing that I probably haven't put my finger on yet. I keep wanting to pick up the glass. You know what it is? There's a waxy note. Okay. So, you know when, you, when you're a kid and you got those little soda balls you'd chew into and you'd crack yeah, the wax yeah, and yeah, yeah, eat yeah. the sugar candy? Yeah. There's a hint of that. Mm. Okay. God, that's beautiful. I would sit and just pick up this whiskey for him. Oh, yeah. And we haven't even tried it with water. Yeah, but... for like an hour or two. It's beautiful. All right. We're going to try the rumble. Now, rumble... Real quick, not rum. is made, not rum, that's why it's called rumble. Yep. It's rum-like, but this one is wild Texas wildflower honey, mission figs, mm -hmm. and sugar. Okay. Turbinata sugar. They double distill it yeah. in their pot stills, and then they aged this one in new French oak. I love the French oak. Where are they For, Look at this. I want to get this French oak barrel. 57 months. Wow. That's almost five years old. That's okay. Almost I guess, I guess, five years old. Was it, it was used barrels? Uh, no, no. It, well, it didn't say. Because no, it did say new French oak. Sorry. New French oak. Okay. Yep. They got new. And who is this for? Five years. Total wine. Okay. This is four. Mm -hmm. This is five. Mm -hmm. Why is this so much darker than that one? Different ingredients for one. And probably the oak profiles changed. My guess that there's toast and char level. You think different char levels? And, yeah. Okay. Okay, so comparatively, this is a more simple nose. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Comparatively, this is way more down the direction of. Uh, I feel like this is closer to some of the brandies I've smelled than it is to the whiskeys that I've You know, I, smell. I think because you said wild wildflower honey, mm -hmm. I it projected me. It, it, I'm, I'm pulling from that, and now I'm imagining like a wildflower sweetness. But the wood is yeah. strong. Yeah, and. Um, it was a few years ago. We did an episode talking about uh, different types of honey. Mm -hmm. Because before that, oh yeah, we have tried like fourteen, and oh, we yeah. could tell a difference between all. Oh yeah, before that, it was like, well, honey's yeah. honey. What's the big deal? Who cares what flowers they're no. pollinating? And uh, no, it makes that was wild. all of the difference. It's just a huge difference. It's a wild variation. So for I, I don't remember what wildflower honey tastes like. No, but that is what I typically get when I buy honey for the house. Yeah, because I've heard that it helps with. Um, Allergies. Allergies. Yeah. So I always get Texas wildflower honey. I wonder who started that. No, no, it's an, real. An allergen? Dad. Doctor? Dad used to have to go yeah. uh, get shots yeah. during cedar fever season right. from the doctor right. so that he could like not look all puffed up and crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He started taking bee pollen, yeah. and it took a year or two, but now he just does over-the-counter antihistamines, right. and he hasn't had to go back and get shots you ever gotta, since. You want to hear like a kind of a, a fucked up story? Hmm. Okay, allergies. Mm -hmm. I got a dog with my college roommates. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got a dog with my college roommates. A uh, little terrier. And he was, a, he was just basically all of our dog. <laughs> Jack Russell. And so about, I don't know, six or seven months into this dog, he gets just a horrible just rash just all over his hives. Mm. So my roommate takes him to this pet allergist, whatever, allergen professional. He says, oh, yeah, he's got allergies. Uh, you, we, got, we got some shots. Uh, it's going to be like $900 a month just to, keep him, just to keep him in these shots. $900 a month. So, uh, <laughs> so I think we should probably just put him down because this isn't cool. It's like, wait, what? Yeah, it's like. Like we're poor, we're poor co like college kids. You went to an allergen, and the guy's like, "You gotta kill that dog." <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. The allergen didn't say kill the dog. The allergen's oh. like nine hundred dollars a month. Uh, the roommate, my said, roommates, is like, let's "Kill the dog." Yeah, let's kill the dog. So, uh, <laughs> Jesus. So, so I said, "It's like we're not gonna kill the fucking dog." It's like this is a good dog. I like the dog. I will handle the dog. This is now officially my dog. Fair enough. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Fair okay, enough. Okay. So I pulled the dog aside. I was like, "Look, dog." I can't afford I don't have dollars. <laughs> you gotta stop so having allergies. I need you to really just not <laughs> yeah. have allergies. 
within the week, allergies cleared up. I had that dog for 19 years. Never had Never another. once had another allergic reaction to whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He took me seriously. The dog was like, okay, I get it. Yeah. yeah. You can't afford the fancy things. Cool. Or the dog just ate something that one time. I don't know. It was so bad. But anyways. <laughs> anyways. Really funny. I haven't tried this in taste yet, though. Oh, wow. That's really soft. Man, once again, two older Balcones whiskey, uh, spirits yeah. well, how that are, are not being dominated by oak tannins. I don't know how that's happening. I don't either. I've seen their barrel house. Yeah. Okay, let, let, let's, let's well, they've get, got two. Let's get very practical about this. Yeah. yeah. Bug. Um, it's the one that is actually at the distillery. Yeah. It's the, just brick. Yeah. In multi stories, it's a brick. And it gets hot as shit in those rooms. Okay. Yeah. That's the question. Yeah. Because it gets hot, but there's no direct, direct sunlight. I'm not sure about the, maybe the fluctuation is lower. I it, don't know. It gets hot enough to cause heat stroke when you're barrel sampling. I think it used to be an old firehouse. Yep. Well, yeah. no, it used to be a building. I can't remember what they made, but they were legally required to have fireproof yeah. everything. Okay. So the whole building is fireproof. All the walls, yeah. all the structures. Okay. They got fire doors. Yeah. When you take the tour, yeah, yeah. they're like, hey, there's a line right here. Don't stand there. Okay. Because if a fire right. alarm goes off, right. these doors drop in order to create fire barriers. And cut you in half. And they drop quickly. <laughs> yeah. So okay. don't stand there. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. Because we have experimented with barrels. Right. Whiskeys that would be half this age, but way more oaky. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You, and you're saying, well, it's Black like the magic. mash bill and the char yes. and all that other stuff. Okay. Well, and uh, Jared sold his soul yeah. to the devil. No, we know. No, that's. But that was a long time ago. I mean, look, you say like you sound so. You say like you're saying something that you know is insider information. Yeah. They write it on the back of the bottle. Yeah. And the, I, the you know what? You know, you know what you can say about a deal with the devil. An agent. He really follows through. I'm the like devil. no matter how long <laughs> after the deal. I'll give you good whiskey. Yeah. No matter how long after the deal. <laughs> He's still fulfilling the good whiskey yeah, yeah, yeah. requirement. Yeah. Say what you will about the devil. Yeah, he's consistent. <laughs> <laughs> That's so yeah, stupid. you can take his word. So I am still getting this uh, really nice, that's not dense, sh overly sugared sweetness, mm -hmm. but it's this nice hinted and layered sweetness. I want to say candied plum. Mm, I could see that. I could also candied see a little bit plum. of a, almost a savory sweetness. Yeah. Where I get that in a lot of Balcones. Yeah. A yeah, me too. A lot of Balcones. That, that savory sweet. That, yeah. Both of these are beautiful. Uh, Alan Jackson, any tips for getting over the oak flavor in bourbon? Mm. I can't seem to enjoy bourbon because of this. It's A lot of it's going to be oaky. Uh, maybe corn whiskey? Well, yeah. So here's what I would ask you. Yeah. A fancy corn whiskey. Well, first, if you can get your hands on Michter's American, see if you like used oak and see what that happens. Oh, yeah. But um, yeah. I would ask, are there any other spirits that are traditionally wood aged that you do like? Like brandy, have you tried brandy or cognac or um, uh, do you like oak wine? I mean, there's, you right? rum in an oak grill. Rum, and, uh, and is it really the wood impact mm -hmm. or is it that super aggressive charred new oak tannin note? Yeah. Because if it's just that new oak tannin note, there are a lot of bourbons where that note is softened. Yeah. Right? But if you legitimately just don't like what barrels do to a spirit, that's going to be hard to overcome. Um, Maybe try a brandy. Yeah. Because they're easy to, easier to get. Honestly, I, I mean, you're going to send them out. I had the hiccups so bad yesterday oh. in a movie theater. Oh, no. Okay. So it's long. So every time there's a silent moment and a little tear falls in the back, you're like, ah. So I took, <laughs> like, I saw Top Gun a couple of weeks ago. It's a great movie. And I took my boys on Father's Day. Ah. I'm going to see the Top Gun. All right. Yeah. So we get in the movie theater and I, I put on like an all white t shirt. Like, who the hell cares? It's a black movie theater. It doesn't matter. But then I sit down and there's this, like a nine-year-old girl next to me, mm. right? Like, oh, whatever. But then I have, I had hiccups all afternoon into the movie. And I realize every time I hiccup, it's me going. <laughs> 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 and there's, there's, there's trying this, to be quiet. <laughs> right, and I'm wearing this white shirt. So there's this girl that's sitting here, and in her peripheral, she sees this middle-aged man just flopping around. <laughs> and I could tell that she doesn't know what to do about it, because every time I hiccup, she's like... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, something to change places. She's just looking over. She doesn't know what's happening. It's like she'll lean over to her mom and will say something. It's like, I can't. I mean, it's the hiccups. 
I can't not hiccup. Yeah. So yeah, it was, it was like 45 minutes in the movie. Of, and then it was, eventually I just like gave into it. You're like, all right, fine. And then it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Ruining uh, the movie hic- for everybody. Hiccups are the worst. Yeah. I'd rather have a sneeze attacks mm-hmm. than hiccups. So... Gosh, such irrelevant. Doesn't matter. You know, so you know, you know yeah, the we're, game. We're by this the point, of four by episodes. this point, you know the game. Okay. Totally. <laughs> so, uh, you know the best cure for hiccups I've ever... Jackson has one. Okay, go. His one is, holds his breath and swallows eight times. Oh, okay. While his breath is being held. Interesting. He swears by it. Interesting. Interesting. I've never tried it. I... The, the most effective thing that I've ever tried, because the drink water upside down, what are you doing? Well, this is just like a prank more than anything. It's yeah. nothing. The most effective thing I've ever done, I actually learned it from a little candid interview with Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, nice. From Hunger Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, she, was, she was doing a thing. And uh, she was like, oh, gosh, I'm about to go in front of a bunch of people. I have the hiccups. She's like, no, I got this. She's hiccuping. She says, okay. This is what you do. You, you take in as much air as you possible, as much as air as you possibly can, and then as slowly and as intentionally as you can, exhale through your mouth. As slowly as you can exhale through your mouth, focusing on the exhale, focusing on keeping it as slow as possible, and then eventually you may get a couple of kicks in there, and eventually your mind focusing on that and controlling it intentionally just keep, get you enough distance from the hiccups so it's not a chronic rhythm. I'm adding way more words than she did, but this is kind of, you know, the result. And sure enough, you do that a few times and then, like the hiccups go away. But every time I'd make them go away in the movie theater, yeah. I'd like I'd take, you know, another drink and some more popcorn and the hiccups would kick in again. Uh, but I'd be like five minutes and then, okay, I think I'm safe. I'm going to start eating and drinking. No. Mm. This is why you watch... <laughs> you just learned how to cure hiccups. You get Jennifer Lawrence's hiccup tips. Yeah. Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink, drink with us. us.